I'm here with Caroline Doty, um, and I wanted Caroline start asking you about the obvious thing, your knees, but I want to get a little bit more technical about it because I'm actually working on an article about knee injuries. A lot of people don't understand that there are, the surgeons use different techniques to repair ACLs. Some use uh, the ACL of a cadaver, they call that an allograft. Some use the muscle or the tendon tissue of the patient herself, they call that an autograft. Some surgeons use artificial fibers. Tell us about your injuries and what kind of surgical procedures. Let's just start with the, your first injury, is to which was to which knee? Uh, all three have been to my left knee. All to your left knee? Yes. How did the first one happen, the, the circumstance? The first one was contact. Uh, I was playing soccer my senior year in high school, and some girl came in and slide tackled me and uh, hit the back inside of my knee, and my knee popped out. So it was a pretty intense tear. And how, which procedure was used to repair your left knee? I used my own uh, patellar tendon from the same knee. So I tore my left knee and used one third of my patellar tendon on my left knee to use it as my ACL. And your patellar tendon is basically the, the kneecap tendon? Yes. Do the doctors say that that patellar tendon grows back after you use part of it? No, it doesn't? I don't believe so. They take one third, they take one third of it out. So you still have a decent amount on your kneecap still. Now what was the second circumstance of the second injury? The second one was a uh, 17th game of the season against Syracuse University and uh, I just landed weird. Uh, I was off balance and I landed pretty hard on my left knee and it just went. A lot of other fans saw that. Uh, mm -hmm. It seems like a lot of these injuries happen on jump stops. Is that, is that, is that what you've observed it or heard? Uh, I've heard that, yes. I've heard that also. Mine, mine was, I was stopping but it was only on one leg. I kind of was twisted, and I, when I landed hard, my knee wasn't lined up, I, and it just, just went. Uh, and, and that was the same knee? Yes. And what, what, did you use more of your patella tendon that time? What happened? Actually, nope, um, I used the cadaver. The cadaver? Yes, and the thing about cadaver is that um, a certain, a certain uh, percentage of people uh, reject the cadaver, reject the, the foreign object, and, um, I was one of those people. I believe that also happened to Jackie Jamelis, who's, mm -hmm. who's even had more injuries than you. Believe I mean, it or not. You're not quite the queen yet. <laughs> uh, uh, and the third injury, how, how did that one happen? That one happened, I think it happened over, we're not really sure how it happened because I felt good um, when we say it happened. Uh, I was working out, uh, doing uh, a basketball workout, and I went up for a left-hand layup and landed the same way and I felt it kind of shift. It didn't feel like a pop, it wasn't as dramatic as my first two where I fell and I uh, couldn't walk on it after. I kind of shook it off and kept playing and the next day it got really, really stiff and realized that something was wrong with it. And which type of procedure was used? We're talking now the right knee this time. That was my left knee, again. Oh, all three were in all the same knee? All three were in the same knee. And then that procedure, I took the patella tendon out of my right knee and put it in my ACL knee. Okay, because I was noticing you have a scar on your right knee. Do you, do you mind if I Not at focus all. on that? Uh, a few band-aids. Uh, so band to, to repair your left knee the third time, they took the patellar tendon out of your right knee. Yes. So you've used up all your patellar tendons so far. <laughs> so far, I have no more patellar tendons. Uh, moving away from that, uh, how do you see the uh, competition at the guard spot shaping up? I mean, I guess it's fairly obvious, but uh, actually, there's it's it's good competition. Um, we have such great we have great guards with Bria Hartley coming in as a freshman. Um, she adds on to that competitiveness, um, that competition of who's going to be you know the the main the main guards. Um, and the thing with Maya, she can play the guard as well. So it's kind of like you know, it's kind of it's nice because we'll be able to, we'll be flexible with who plays what spot as the guard spot, but. Um, I mean, Lauren Dixon did a great job over the summer coming in, um, but Bria came in as a freshman, you know, really showing us some good stuff and looking really, really good. So for the point guard spots, you know, we got two, two really good point guards uh, right then and there. And then, of course, Tiffany and Kelly, you know, they're, they're going to do what they do, and they're, they're just great already. Now, either speaking for yourself, even though you're not playing, but you could empathize, uh, 
or trying to speak for the group, d does this streak weigh over you like the sword of Damocles, or is it kind of just kind of historical thing that doesn't really bother you as you go forward? It doesn't really bother us. Um, you know, it'd be great to get that uh, all-around record to keep it going, but our main I, our main focus right now is getting it through practice on Saturday morning. Um, you know, we kind of take that whole one day at a time type thing, and if we work our, our hardest every single day, you know, it'll show over time. Um, coach says this a lot. Like, if you were to sit us down before the, before this whole streak and be like, all right, we want you to win 78 games in a row, uh, go do it. You're just kind of like, are you crazy? Like, that seems impossible. But um, what we did is we didn't look at it that way. We took it as win your first game. All right, we did that. When you're second, you know, take it one day at a time, one game at a time. And I think if we have that same mentality, which we still have, we actually haven't talked about the streak much at all this year. I don't even think we talked about it at all. Um, we're just going to take it one step at a time, one day at a time, and see where that takes us. Okay, thank you for your time, Carol. Thank you.